welcome back to another video. Ugh, I did not get that much sleep last night. I was just restless and moving all night. I don't know why. It's like, do you hate it when your body's like, oh yeah, you know, we'll, um, we'll make you want to sleep when it's time to get up. Like, it's one of those nights. But yeah, just got up. Because, you know, I still wanted to get up, shoot the time up with the sun rising, and just start my day. So I'm editing, and it's going to be a productive day. It's almost 7 in the morning. Pretty good. Video is exporting now. Dog is asleep on the floor. And I kid you not, it's not even 8 in the morning. It's been a while since I've actually edited, edited a video this quickly and this early in the morning. So we're really ahead of schedule. Going to write some notes, going to eat some food, going to have a good day. I got a prac later tonight at 4 p.m. So I've kind of got to make sure I get everything done throughout the day before that. Look at that. Does that not look like a real brownie? I'm going to try it for you guys right now. That's actually really good. 10 out of 10. Some cocoa puffs and almond milk. Today this will be my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna go do legs pretty soon. Outside at the gym, just about to go inside, having some food. And we're gonna go into an edit in one, two, three. from the first person to comment, I think. I don't know, I'm just gonna, yeah. Okay, the first question is gonna be coming from Rafael Hernandez. Love that guy. Um, his question is, who are your inspirations? Well, uh, in the fitness community itself, my inspirations are probably people like Christian, Ju yeah, Christian Guzman, maybe Max Tuning, Bradley Martin, Steve Cook and uh, who else? Yeah, maybe this, uh, just those guys. Honestly, because they're really passionate people. They know what they're doing. They've all started their own businesses. Um, Steve Cook's obviously got uh, Swolger Nation. Bradley Martin's got BM Fit Gear. He also just launched a new thing with Calum Vermoga called. Um, I don't even remember what it's called. Um, then you've got Max Tuner's got Everford. Now he's got his own gym, District Barbell. Then you've got Christian's got CG Fitness, Alphabet Aesthetics. And, um, athletics. And his own gym. So, those are my inspirations. And uh, in terms of people on YouTube that aren't, say, my, uh, aren't fitness, definitely Casey Neistat. Seriously, he's an incredible vlogger. And it's just so motivational. The next question is going to come from Atom Garcia. Um, it says, if you had any advice to give on how to gain more subs and views, what would it be? Uh, my advice would be stay consistent with your uploads. Uh, make sure that you're trying to, to improve your videos every single time. Try and add a bit of a story to it as well. And uh, yeah, just don't give up. And really connect with people. And he also has another question saying, now that you've broken into the hundreds, what next goal for your, what's the next goal for yourself and your channel? Uh, keep going, up the momentum, upload every single day that I can, aim to inspire more people, get more people involved, um, just reach, reach corners of the world, and just really, really motivate people to get started, and even other YouTubers just to keep things going, and try and actually like up the the baseline level of what a vlog should be. Uh, hmm, next question is going to be from Cam Young Fitness. What got you into the fitness uh, industry in the first place? He's got a few questions. Um, well, I was always a really, really big kid. 
growing up. My heaviest I got up to at like 16 was 90 kilos and I was like above 50% body fat, big boobs, uh, big stomach. So what got me into it was uh, my sister's ex-boyfriend Ed. He was a personal trainer and uh, he just kind of got me started doing stuff and I don't know, I just never stopped. Like got me started on 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups a day. And um, I eventually started progressing to then 50 a day and then 100. Then I eventually got some weights and joined a gym about six months after I started just doing the 10 push-ups and stuff a day. And here I am a few years later and yeah, I dropped all that weight and just fell in love with it so much so I just never looked back. Um, would I consider doing a collaboration video slash shoutouts? I would always love to do shoutouts, yeah. Because I always believe in our, like, like, if, say, if someone's not getting the views that I think that they personally should, yeah, if they want a shout out, if, if I've got a big following than them, uh, I always appreciate doing that because if you're spreading a channel that's just promoting positivity, I'm always happy to do that. And would I consider doing collaborations? Of course, I, I love seeing collaborations. And, um, honestly, there's nothing, I've got no issue whatsoever with the collaboration. Hmm. Um, next question is from Diego Juarez. It says, Callum Von Moga or Bradley Martin? Well, even though Callum Von Moga is Australian, I believe, i got to say Bradley Martin. Just because I've been following him longer and uh, I kind of like how serious but not serious he is at the same time. And plus, he always has great times with Mike Tornabini, or you might, guys may know him as Bro Science. Okay. Next question comes from Island Aesthetics saying, what made you want to make videos? Um, he's also got another question as well. Well, I really can't say. I don't know, I just started watching some YouTube videos occasionally and then just, I thought, well, maybe I could do it. And so I started filming on my phone, so. I don't know, that's kind of just what it got me into. Like, I, I watched a few 10,000 calorie challenges and thought, I'd like to do that. And that's like one of my first few videos. And, um, I don't know, just kind of like the idea of being able to reach other people and um, getting the feedback and it kind of got, got me motivated and kind of got me out there a bit more and the confidence was really nice. And anyone I look, you look up to that made you want to do this? Uh, back then there was no one really at all. Um, in fact I barely knew any channels or anything at all. Maybe Chris Jones. Uh, so maybe someone like that kind of got me into it. Maybe want to come up with a name. Also, um, kind of just like the idea of starting a YouTube channel, getting to know people and then just the opportunities it created in terms of like possibly starting your own business, own apparel, own gym, things like that, because those are honestly like hopes for my myself uh, down in the, fut the future down the line, so uh, yeah. Um, the next question is going to be coming from Paul Dangerfield who says, how long do you want to make videos for? Um, personally I can't see an ending to this, so it could be 10 years from now that I decided one day just to wake up and stop making videos. It, it could be tomorrow. So I really can't say, but um, for now I want to keep making videos and I'm really enjoying it, so yeah. And then I've got the last questions are going to come from Avo Sulekian, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, what is your future fitness goal? Um, by the end of next year, I would like to be able to deadlift 200 kilos, bench 100, and squat 160. If I can hit those numbers, um, I'll enter into a powerlifting meet. Uh, probably at the maybe is it the 76 kilo weight class. I'm not entirely sure what the weight categories are. To be honest, I'm not that knowledgeable in terms of powerlifting. But um, I also would like to compete in physique by the end of next year, so that is why now I've started my reverse diet and bulking. Uh, where do you see yourself after two years from now? Honestly, I'd like to see myself uh, two years from now, finishing off my uni degree um, with more than 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, deadlifting 240, benching 120 to 140, and almost squatting like 180. Um, I've done almost, like, I'd, right now, to be honest, it's the 9th of October, I'd like to be um, in my last few weeks of my prep for my second show, so, yeah, I'd also like to be heavily invested in writing my 
thesis, uh, thesis for my physics class. Yeah. Well, anyway, guys, that was the Q&A section of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't read any of these questions before, so they're kind of just my responses straight off the top of my head. If you wanted me to do a structured one uh, next time, I guess. So, yeah, that's going to conclude this portion of the video. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Guys, I do realise that this vlog was sort of short in terms of like the amount that was actually today, Monday, but I did put the q and in, so there is that to be accounted for. I decided to do it just in this one, just also so I can actually show you the fact that I'm squatting again, which is fantastic. I haven't been able to because of ankle dorsiflexion, weak iliopsoas and things like that, and just cues because I was breaking down my squat a lot. I was breaking the hips, I wasn't loading my posterior chain right, I wasn't embracing my, embracing my core, tensing my glutes, and just my, because of, I mean I was at the start, but once I'd hit the hole, um, my ankles would roll and I'd just lose all that tightness. But enough about that, I'm really happy that I was able to squat again, I'm going to happily start doing more, and I'm going to end the video here. So don't forget to like and I sort of that. So I do seriously hope that you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe as always, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. It's weird how good a piece of broccoli is. Hey guys, uh, I'm just gonna eat this post-workout meal right now. Go to university. Thanks for staying after the credits. Let me know if these are kind of weird. Um, they're kind of fun. Some sort of funny weird thing at the end of the thing as a reward for you staying to the end of the video. I look forward to talking to you guys in the uh, credit in the next one. Peace.